a gallery in Rath, New York, outside Wexford, and I've had it for about seven years, and I've always thought about exhibiting in Wexford in the festival time. But I really wanted to get an appropriate space, and it's quite difficult. And we came and looked at this with Joanne Morrissey, yeah. who I use as a framer, uh, about four or five months ago. And we were shown this room, and I thought it would be perfect for a gallery. And obviously, at the time of the Opera Festival, it's, it's driving artists everywhere. What kind of makes the Stone Ridge stand out from all the rest? Well, I hope quality of the artists and interest in young artists that are on the way up. I mean, they're, they're in their 30s, so they've had all their training, they've had a bit of practice. They've, most of these people have exhibited in galleries, so they're gallery artists rather than just uh, you know, some of the other exhibits right, right. by artists who are not in galleries yet. So uh, I hope that this stands out on the quality of the art and of the interest of these rising stars. Can you tell us anybody to watch out for this year? Um, well, David Begley, uh, is, um, his work is really selling very well, even in, this, in the recessionary times, right, okay. and he's getting commissions, uh, and his prices are all holding up, and that's really a very good sign of genuine interest by collectors. So how many different artists are exhibiting here? We've um, eight, nine different artists here, five County Wexford artists, right. one Kilkenny, one Carla, two from uh, Sligo, and one from Australia. So we have an international representation as well. That's the way it should be. Brilliant, Jeremy. Thanks very much. Thanks for very much. Thanks a lot.